Hi, good morning. Welcome to our house. Who am I kidding? It's actually like 1 p.m. and we're starving. But hey, let's try and make some pancake art. Valentine's Day themed. Let's go. Over here, we're gonna use almond milk, some eggs, and this mix of pancake. Uh, this is kind of sweet, so it'll be extra great for Valentine's Day for you, sweetie. So I suggest just following the mixtures instructions on your pancake box or bag or homemade recipe, whatever that would be. I'm just gonna do some magic though here pretty quick because I'm starving. The next thing that you need is a squeezable bottle. I got mine at a 100 yen shop here in Japan and it needs to have a tapered tip so that your pancake art can be as artsy as you want it to be. You're gonna be putting some of the batter inside of this bottle and just make them whatever you want after that. Taking the lid to our bottle with the tapered tip, I'm going to take off just the top here. Hopefully that means we can get very detailed pancake art. And I'm just gonna cut it with my kitchen scissors. Okay, we have to go a little bit deeper. All right. Ah, perfect. I don't know if you can see that, it's very tiny. I think we're gonna use some magic again though, John Mark. Okay, so wow, it's going, I've got nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, whoa, abracadabra, smackety bab, let's make some valentine crappity crap. Whoa! Look at that. So fancy. Magic is great. Cooking magic. Let's do this. Come over to the stove top here. Wow. First I would like to um, show you what I did just for the video. Wow, it's cubed butter, ladies and gentlemen. I did that just for you. If you normally cube your butter this way, please tell us in the comments how you are a sociopath. Alright, let's push on our oven. And you want this to be very, very low. I'm going to start maybe at a 1. And we're going to let this preheat a bit so that when we are using our pancake batter, it is not burning but just turning like a nice golden brown. And also, this is my fancy smanchy spatula. I like a very wide, flat spatula so that my pancakes don't break when I'm trying to get them out of the pan. Cool. I feel like I need to put a disclaimer out here that I have never done this before. This is all hypothetical in my brain. I've been thinking about making pancake art for like two weeks now. So we're just gonna see if this works. I'm gonna take one of these little cubes of butter and put it down and just let that kind of melt. I'm just gonna go for some simple hearts. And you know what, I'm just gonna go for one simple big heart. Oh, it's getting, okay, don't push too hard on your uh, bottle because then it starts to like curl as it comes out. So we're gonna fix this up a little bit. Fixing the heart. There we go, it's a little better. Okay, I like that. Now, this is the hardest part for me because I, I want to touch it. You just gotta leave it be. I wish I could give like a, a number for how long you should wait, but honestly, it's like life. Now you gotta be careful, but you're just gonna try and put the pancake batter over your shape. Try not to break it. I'm trying to go for a circle shape here. This is when I wish I kind of had bought two containers and had one with a wider tip to just put over the top. Come on, pancake, turn it out, pancake. Pancake, if you seem to wait in the morning, it'll have that. Shape just for Valentine's Day in your honey will say where'd you get these shape of pink hot cakes and you can say that I made them myself oh I made them myself mm -hmm. it's a new country
Hotcakes. Hotcakes. Shapely hotcakes, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little early on when I would normally flip a pancake, but I do want the difference between the background and the foreground. Look at that, art terms, on this pancake. So we're gonna go for it. Okay, sorry for the angle. Hey, I do see a shape there. I'm kind of wondering if the butter has anything to do with the texture and the distribution of lights and darks here. I think it's gonna taste good, but the next one I'm gonna try without butter to see if we can get that even dark and light. Mm. We're gonna try it. Going in with no butter this time, and we're gonna try another challenge. We're gonna try writing words. Now when you're writing words, make sure they are backwards, because when you flip it, it will be correct. All right, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna try. It's gonna be hard also because letters seem very delicate. A of B. It's easy. It goes both ways. And an O is easy. You. Alright. My L goes this way and up. Alright. I screwed up. We've come so far. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Alright. It's cooking pretty quick now. Probably won't be long until I need to put the pancake batter over the top. I'm also thinking about putting, using this to go. So I don't want to mess it up. We're going to try. We're gonna make a square pancake. Yeah, it's probably gonna be too slow, but you know what? I think this will give it some like ground not to break. I'll let all of that stiffen up real quick. Going in as thin as possible. Oh, whoa, whoa, careful, careful, careful. You know what? I'm just gonna cut that part off. That doesn't exist. I don't believe in that. Oh no! Don't worry. It was just a part of the square. Hey, look at that. Looks like a waffle. I do think having no butter is actually helpful. <laughs> now it's my turn. Let's see, what do I want to draw? It's up to you. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> We've been watching the Blue Planet. Narrated by David Attenborough. What is it? Octopus? No, I don't know. It's just something with eyes and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So what you're going to do now is you want to put like a backing to hold the pieces. I'll let it cook some, I think. This is all hypothetical. If you haven't guessed, we don't know. <laughs> so, like, you make a little skeleton structure thing. I think I'm going too fast, huh? Mm -hmm. This pancake's gotta be big. Yeah, it's gonna be giant. <laughs> Holy cow. So, now that that cook a little bit longer, or no? I think you did. Oh man, I'm gonna need to make more better. It's as big as a whole pan. I've never seen a pancake do that before, have you? <laughs> this is gonna be something else to flip. Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna do it. Oh. Oh. 
You can do it, John Marks. You can do it. Whoa. Hey! <laughs> Giant creature of the deep pancakes. All right. <laughs> you know how I learned when a pancake is ready to flip, John Mark? How? Oh. My brother told me when I was little. It's when it has a lot of bubbles at the top. Be mine. I tried to make Shinzo Abe, but it's very hard. Or Abe Shinzo. But this one looks great, of yours. This is a jellyfish. Yeah. And this one? This was gonna be Kate. <laughs> uh, but I flopped it, and the eyes are off as well. And of course, you've seen his earlier Creature of the Deep. Alright, thanks for watching. Maybe we'll try this again sometime after some more practice. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to you. Valentine's Day. These are some of the pancakes that we made. Some heart-shaped. The love pancake. <laughs>